At First Presbyterian Church, we love to gather. It's both the definition of the type of community we want to be, as well as the primary way in which we are church. This is one of the things that has made the pandemic so difficult for us. This church gathers, and we love to gather. We want to be with each other. The center of our gathering is around the act of community worship. When we come to sing, to pray, and to hear the word of God proclaimed, we want to do it alongside each other. Certainly, we can feel connected even if our worship is online, but nothing beats actually being together in the same room when we hear and proclaim the good news. But we love to welcome others into this time and space with us as well. We're not a closed community, but a welcoming and inviting one. All of that is shown in our smiles, in our hugs, and in our acceptance. At FPC, everyone is welcomed into the presence of God, invited, as Jesus said, to come and see. Our welcome points beyond our church community to God's eternal invitation. Our worship unites us in song, in confession, in prayer, and in the profession of our faith as God's people. Together in one voice, our worship rises to glorify our God. And perhaps there's no greater way to unite us in voice and enliven our worship than through music. In our music, God is certainly glorified. In song, our spirits, hearts, minds come together and rise to God. And well, it might be a bit prideful to say, our music is exceptional. From bells to choirs to children to bands, from guitars to organs to drums to jaw harps, the community joins in reverent song. Music brings our unity to life in a way nothing else can. Our gathering isn't limited to Sunday mornings, though. Before and after worship, as well as beyond worship, throughout the week, we gather for conversation and fellowship. The community supports one another in mutual affection, encouraging one another through relationships. Some of these friendships have lasted for decades, while others are brand new. Perhaps most amazing at First Presbyterian Church are the ways our friendships cross generations. This church's teenagers have friends decades older than them, while our oldest members look forward to greeting young children each week. All of us benefit from relationships formed with people at different stages of life. FPC is truly a place to be known and loved. We love to gather at First Presbyterian Church, and we're good at it, too.